So hello and good evening. This is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and uh, it is another Friday and it is another DAX Fridays, of course. And the function that we are actually going to talk about today is called Generate Series. This is a function that was released just a month or two ago, something like that. And it is used to create what if scenarios. So I am actually going to take the opportunity and do both things. We are going to go through a what if scenario report as well as we explain what generate series does. So two for the price of one. Stay tuned. Okay, so for this video, I haven't made my own Power BI demo or report demonstration, I've actually used, or I'm going to use uh, SQL Dusty uh, example. I hope he's okay with that. Um, he has a great example. He goes step by step on how to create a what if case. And he actually has a download down here. There are not a lot of downloads out there in, on the net and I didn't have time to make my own. So I hope he's okay with this. I will not make the file available on YouTube, but I will give you a link to his blog post. So if you want to download the file, you come here. Okay. And then you just scroll to the end, download it, and you can follow his instruction if you prefer to read. So let's go through this case that he explains here. So in this example, the example that SQL Dusty has on, on the uh, website, it is a simple graph where you have uh, revenue year by year, and then he created a revenue last year formula. So you can see revenue this year, and you can see the revenue last year. And now what he wants to do is to create a revenue target. And the revenue target will be based on a percentage of the previous year sales. So a percentage of the previous year sales will be the revenue target. Okay. And for that, we are going to use is the newly released. I don't know if it's that new anymore, but just a couple of months released. What if parameter, which is this one. I was expecting actually to see what if here. So I had a hard time finding it actually. It says what if in there, but okay, it doesn't matter. So what if parameter. Now what this does, it, it uses generate series function to create a list of values. Let me show you that. So here we have the generate series function and this is how it works. This is a very, very simple function. You start with the start value, you have an end value, and then you specify it here how you want the increments to be between the start value and the end value. Now, an example, always easier. If we have here generate series one to five, if you don't write anything, the default value is one. Okay. So generate series one to five. And because we haven't written anything at the end, it will be one, two, three, four, five. So it will increase on one unit. Second example, generate series 1.2 to 2.4, and it wants in the 0 0.4 increments. So 1.2 plus 0 0.4 is 1.6 to 2.4. Okay. So this is a very, very simple function. I actually, when I saw it the first time, was like, what am I going to use that for? I knew about what if already. And actually I ended up using it in another project that has nothing to do with what if parameters. So it is a useful function for certain cases not only for the what if analysis, but now that you know what this does, if we go back to the what if uh, uh, parameter function, then you will see that this is basically a user interface for generate series. Let's go back. So here we have it. Let's go through this here. We're going to give a name. That's the same as give the name of a measure. We're going to call it target revenue. And we want to have decimals. We want values between one and two at increments of 0 0.01. And the default value when to start with is 1.1. And we want to have a slicer. 
So do you see what is happening? This is the start value, this is the end value, and this is the increment, and this is the name of the function. So we're basically generating a generate series function. So when we click OK, you'll see what happens. A new table is created. And let's take a look at that. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a, so, so, so intelligent. It's a great way to actually implement. It's easier and, and, you know, simple solutions are always the best in my opinion. So did you see what we do? Target revenue, and then you have generate series, and then you have the start value, the end value, and the incremental. And in this case, it's 0 0.01. If we write one, we will get one, two. If we write, I don't know. So you can hear, you can use this to actually generate your series, okay? But let's not destroy SQL does this example. And we will use as he did. So we have a table with, uh, you know, with all the all the different scenarios that we want to run through, and along with these, it creates also a measure, and we've gone through the selected value already. If you don't know what that is, just make sure you check on the DAX Fridays. So, what the selected value basically does is it picks the value that the user has selected on the slicer. Okay, so it's basically, you know, one of the things that, another thing that was created when we click, it was this. Did I write something very big? It was this slicer. So what the select value is actually doing is you see, it's, it's actually saying, okay, now the user chose 1.3, now the user chose 1.47, now the user chose. So perhaps the easiest way is actually to show you. You see, 129, 121. So it just picks up whatever the user selected on the slicer, nothing else. Let's delete it. And the last thing we need to do is actually a measure that calculates this. So now we have the parameters, we know what I wanted to do, we just have to put it together. And the revenue target will be revenue target will be the revenue last year times our target. Once we have it, we put it there and mm, we don't want a solid, we want it dashed. No, we want it solid, but we don't want all of them solid. We want just a revenue target to be, this is was released also a while ago, actually. I think it's like super nice. So now we have the revenue this year, the revenue last year, perhaps we don't want to see this anymore. And we have our target revenue based on the value that we pick up here. And all of this is done using generate series. So now you know how it works. Okay, so this is all for today. I really hope you enjoyed the double video. <laughs> um, if you do, just let me know by liking it. This is a way for me to understand if the videos that I'm doing, you are liking them and if I do, should do more of or less of, or, well, you know. Um, make sure you share it. If you know somebody that would like to or should know about this, uh, comments, questions, suggestions, as usual, comment box or the social channels listed below. And make sure you subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And um, yeah, oh, just click the bell to receive notifications, okay? And have a great, great weekend. Bye.